Now again, modify the select the vertices, select the vertices, vert vertex, and uh, modify the. Modify the Bayesian so Select this circle and convert it to add ball spline. Go to vertex and uh, I'll ref refine a uh, vert vertex in here. And uh, select those segment and uh, detach, detach. And uh, now I'll unhide the curve I have uh, uh, make a pick up. So unhide the curve and uh, select the, 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 the pick up curve. And I will. Move the curve up. Move the curve up and uh, so. Okay, I did this. Um, oops. 
I delete this, this mesh I will not delete uh, the mesh we no longer need need the mesh so we uh, delete delete it and uh, now I'm going to create another reference plan and then in the top viewport I'll rotate it so it's roughly perpendicular to the uh, other side, this um, pipe shape And now we are going to um, create another curve. <laughs> um, so use the circle and uh, check the auto grid and So we created this circle and uh, convert it to edible spline, delete those segments and uh, move the vertices downward. Change the velocity type to small. And so select this shape and uh, Delete um. Maybe those uh, um, segments we don't need. Okay, now we are almost um, uh, finished creating the shape we we needed to <coughs> to create a surface for the for the volute pump for the body of the volute pump so let an, any spline convert it to nerve and then attach attach the spline 
Now we are going to create the first uh, surface and the, we use the create two rail swap. Select the first rail, second rail, first shape, second shape. Let's uh, do it again. First rail, second rail, first shape, second shape. Okay, now it's working. And uh, uh, let's create another s um, another surface. Attach those uh, shape. And uh, this time I'm going to use the uh, create a UV loft surface. First, select the U. Second, select the V. And change the render type to smooth. And. Uh, yeah, this surface need to be flip so uh, flip normal. Okay, now we almost finish at least the hardest part. We use the U loft. Uh, first, uh, attach those two uh, curve and uh, use the U. Use the create uh, U loft surface. Oh no. Um, I forget to uh, delete some of the segments in this uh, circle. So select the select this um, segment that we. I'm sorry, um doo -doo -doo. I think we have to refine the circle in here and uh so that so therefore I create a vertice a vert vertex in here and uh, so I did it this uh, segment and uh, this segment okay now go back to the nerve surface and uh, attach those two shape and uh, use the U loft flip uh, flip no more if necessary. And uh, uh, uh I think I accidentally did it uh, one one line one curve that we need to use. So 
so I had to uh, first uh, I had this um, oh it's here It's uh, in gray color, so I, I didn't see it. So now uh, select the nerve surface and attach the attach the um, attach this uh, a curve that we need to um, make a surface. And then now use the uh, sample uh, use the uh, create a U loft surface. So let those two curve and flip normal. U loft. So let this curve flip normal. So let. down and um, if you like to uh, you can join those uh, surface join those surface into uh, one oh no uh, go to a uh, surface approximation change to tessellation preset to high and uh, and uh, I'll convert it convert this to uh, add add a mesh and I give a shell modifier to it. Increase the amount. So this is our finished model. And uh, thank you for watching this video tutorial. And bye bye.